Hey guys, this is Jocelyn. I am going to do a quick demo with you on how to export a file for proper compression so that you see the quality of the graphic. For one, um, I will say, unfortunately for this demo, you cannot see the main menu at the top of the bar, so I'm going to have to, the top bar, which I'm going to have to tell you what it says. But under view, I want you, when you're looking at these graphics, go under view to what is called display performance and go to high quality display. As you get closer to the end, it's going to give you an ability to see the file in the best um, way possible. It's not rendering it as a preview, which all along, because they're linked files being brought in, they are previews. Okay, so now I want to export this for class. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to File, and I'm going to come to File, Export. And in Export, the dialog box comes up. And it's going to ask, what do I want to name it? I'm going to say test PDF. Now down here is important. When you go to choose format, go ahead and choose PDF for print for me, for grading. And then this window is going to come up, and this is what's really important. It's about the compression of the file. So if you notice, there's a compression option right here. And it's these numbers that are most important to you. So as I've asked you time and time again, I want you to save these files at 300 dpi that you're using, excuse me, the pictures at 300 dpi so you have quite high quality um, graphics at the exporting of the final, um, final end piece. But go ahead and change this to 300 and this will automatically turn to at least a minimum of 300, but typically I see it at 450. Okay, you could do it here too in case if you have something that's more um, in the grayscale genre. Oops. And then same monochrome images, the least commonly used file these days, but that's okay. And these of course would be files brought in from Photoshop or Illustrator. And then I'm going to say export. It's going to show up on my desktop. One thing I usually do click in that box too before I go is that I want to have it open upon export. Um, so it's right now in my pro in my computer opening it up is as a um, Acrobat file. So I can take a look at it and see if I'm gonna zoom out here. See if it looks as good as I want it to, and it does. From far away, sure, it doesn't look great. But if I bring it up to 100 percent um, I will be able to find that the fonts look good enough and that will work. Um, but what's important is her in terms of does that graphic look right and it does so I'm going to be satisfied okay so I'm going to close that now the last thing I was saying there and when this style ball excuse me in the dialog box when you go to say export what I do encourage you to do here we are saying test same thing it's going to say do I want to replace it yes just make sure that you click this view PDF after exporting that's going to help you see what the quality of the file is before you send it to me okay so that's it, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.